Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You always got eye boogers. So heading to the gym. Today we're gonna be doing a Sunday reset. Um, about to get a quick workout in. Where's my Alani new so I don't have pre-workout, but today we are going to do Alani New Breezeberry Energy Drinks. And Tyron's rushing me, so I'll see you guys when I get back. And then I'll let you guys know like what the plan for today's Sunday reset is going to be. Okay. One. On a side note, look at what Harley did to the blanket that covers his thing. And how I moved the Buddy, cage. how did you move the cage? Okay, he's like, oh, I messed up. What is going on? Come on. What? what? How did you even pull this? And he pulls it in so he can like lay on it and comfort himself. Like, this is what he does. I didn't even show you guys what I wore. So, of course. Oh, sorry, buddy. You were laying on me. So, I wore Honor Active. And this black one. These are, um, this is a medium. This is a small. Excuse me. Okay. Um, and this is the coal color and this is the black um, leggings. Really quick. Okay. Um, so I made a to-do list while we were driving to the gym for today. Please don't do don't do that. So on my to-do list today is we have grocery shopping, continue filming this video, my Sunday reset video. I'm going to clean the bedroom and the living room. So on a side note, what I really wanted to do when I was going to film this video was clean yesterday. I didn't really want to do too much cleaning. Today I wanted to like focus on groceries and like what meals we're going to cook for the rest of the week because really, really need to get our diet under control because like it's just been a really rough week last week and the week before so like food was just not in my mind of like we'll eat whatever's here um so my next sunday reset is not going to really consist of too much cleaning um it would be less like tidy it would be more tidying up um because i want to start like kind of doing more of a deep clean on saturdays i did do most of the laundry yesterday and um a little bit of vacuuming and stuff but i ran out of time to do it yesterday like my original plan so we're gonna just kind of clean up. It's not like really, really messy. And on Sunday, what I want to do today and most definitely is wash your sheets. Um, they're not like dirty. I just really, really want clean sheets to get into bed tonight. Like I just feel like that's that's what I really want. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna wash the sheets. I forgot to add that. Um, then I'm going to do a Target or Home Goods run because we're going to get like a board, like a whiteboard above. Um, a whiteboard above our desk situation in our apartment because we're gonna start like a budget tracker like savings tracker and like um, debt tracker where we like want to snowball um, one of our credit cards that we have debt on so we're gonna like plan it out and like really budget it out and we're gonna color it in or take away color I hope this makes sense when um, we like lessen our credit card and then we increase our savings account one is for the wedding and one is just for an emergency fund so and if you didn't know, I am in, we're engaged. Um, but yeah, so these are separate videos. But just a little synopsis of my to-do list. Then, so I also need to finish our budget sheet. Now that Tyron's officially working and stuff, we want to recreate our whole budget sheet and get our finances under control and be like, in a sense, way more financially stable than we are. And we really need to like budget it out. I'm gonna finish the budget sheet and Tyra and I are gonna sit down and like talk about everything like more in depthly. And then my last thing for t t tonight is to plan my day for tomorrow. Um, my day for work tomorrow is already planned. I work like a nine to five. And the video that I wanna record from Monday to Wednesday is basically like working a nine to five, um, my routine. Um, and I really wanna like record that because I wanna do some producti productivity tips. And um, I'm gonna record a day of like a few days of my life working a nine to five. So that is. Yeah. 
take a shower, um, get some breakfast, and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. Because Tyron has um, a client today and I need his help with grocery shopping because we need a lot of groceries. Um, so I hate doing that by myself when there's so many groceries. So hey, we're gonna go on and do that. Why are you wearing the same color as <laughs> me? He wants to match me, he's so cute, look at him. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> anyways so yeah our, our apartment is a mess but we need to clean we're gonna go grocery shopping first and i think we're gonna get smoothies because we're starving i wish smoothie king was closer because they're bigger smoothies than robex um what are we gonna do so yeah i'm just gonna like clean out the fridge really fast because while well, the freezer there's nothing in there the fridge is stuff that just needs to be thrown away um, and actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna clean up, we're gonna go grocery shopping because I already have the list, and then we're gonna clean out the fridge when we get back. We're gonna clean, we're gonna go grocery store really, really fast, and it doesn't take as long because I always know what, I don't like being there that long. Gosh, guys, I'm really trying to get these lashes off. Um, okay, anyways, but we just got back from the grocery store. We're just tidying up the um, apartment, and I'm gonna put away all the groceries. Tyron's like, doing his thing so basically I'm gonna run to Target after this because I need to pick up that board the vision like whiteboard thing that I was telling you guys about for our budget and then also um, oh I need to go get my engagement ring cleaned because in order for us to keep the insurance on the ring we need to get it cleaned every six months so I'm gonna go do that and there's something on it that I cannot get off so I'm gonna go get that cleaned and then stop at Target and come back while I'm doing that, Tyron has a client that's coming here. So usually when he has like a uh, client to come to the apartment and he's going to massage them, I leave. So, yeah. So we have like, what, 45 minutes to get this apartment looking not like this. Oh, my goodness. Um, and, yeah. Hardly. He has to sit over here because then he like just is in the way. But yeah, so um, I just got some granola because I'm gonna do chia seed pudding for breakfast most of these days, so I got some granola for that. Um, Harley got some new dog treats. This is Trader, these are all Trader Joe's by the way. Um, it's the peanut butter flavor ones. I think I'm gonna go give him some to distract him. Yeah, I think that Then we got some multi-grain crackers. We eat this with um, everything but the bagel seasoning dip. Oh God, that dip is so good. Some more biscuits for Harley. Um, I got some garlic for a recipe. Um, almond butter, because I'm gonna make protein ball bites, or like, they're not protein ball bites because technically there's not protein in them, but you know, like, I don't know what to call them. They're called like protein ball bites, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Tyron took some juice. Um, these are the oats that I need for the protein balls. Tyron got more juice. Tyron is a juice person, y'all. I drink water. <laughs> then, um, this is like one of the best lotions we've ever had. It's this hydro, well, hydrating hyaluronic body gel cream from Trader Joe's. Like, guys, it's a little pricey, but yo, this is so silky and smooth. And Tyron actually, this is his only lotion he'll massage people with because it's so good. So. Then I got two things of honey because I need it for the protein balls. And some apples for Harley, which I'm about to give him one. So distract him. Blueberries, strawberries, smoothies. And I also make um, frozen treat popsicles, like frozen fruit treat popsicles for um, Harley. He loves them, especially since he's losing his baby teeth. I got three things of corn because we're going to do these corn um, enchiladas for dinner. I'm a little nervous to make them because I've never made enchiladas, but we're gonna try. And then I'm also doing like a mango um, chicken salsa. And there's corn in that, so got some corn. I'm tiring. Gets these little Caesar salads. Um, he just got the plain one. I don't think he realizes this is the one without chicken, but he must know. So um, he got this Caesar salad for lunch. Sometimes he brings this. Um, if I don't have any like leftovers for dinner, he'll bring like a little salad. 
And then I got two zucchinis. This is for the enchilada recipe. These are like fruit sauce crushers from Trader Joe's. I honestly only use these for like when I'm going to the gym, like something in my system besides pre-workout. Then I have two avocados for the recipe. Cilantro for the recipe. Um, this is just the penny ala vodka frozen thing. This is so good, y'all. Sometimes I just eat this for lunch, like if I don't have like leftovers or like I don't wanna make lunch. Or, yeah, this is good. I got chocolate chips and that's for the protein balls. The oat balls. We're gonna call them oat balls. Oat balls. Oat balls. And these chicken burritos from Trader Joe's are so good and they have a lot of protein in them. I eat these sometimes for breakfast, especially on my leg days. Okay. Some Mexican style cheese. Just some shredded cheese here. Italian sausage. We're gonna eat this because I'm also gonna do buffalo cauliflower. And that just reminded me I did not get the buffalo sauce. Dang it. <laughs> Here's the cauliflowers, and we're gonna have to pick up buffalo sauce. My Orange juice yeah. for the smoothies and just time drinks. All right, guys, these hash browns from Trader Joe's, like, and the the nutritional facts in the back, it's it's really good. Like, it's just fire. Spinach for smoothies, and then of course bananas. Some roasted peanuts for the oat balls I'm gonna make. This everything but the bagel dip, so good. Like, I just. I don't understand why this is so good. It's really good, like I'm not joking. Then I have some pineapples. For the, well, for the pineapple salsa that I'm gonna be making for the chicken. Um, some cocoa, unsweetened cocoa powder. So I, when I'm doing the chia seed pudding, I actually like cocoa powder inside my chia seed pudding with my milk. So I got some of that. Then just some limes for the recipes for this week. Did I pick this oat milk up? Babe. What? Did you pick up this milk? What milk? This yeah, oat milk. Beverage? Yeah, why? I have one in the freezer, frozen. You ain't tell me that. Okay. I just got it naturally because that's what we always, always get. get. Okay, so we have an extra milk because I have one in the freezer that I did this last time. I picked up a milk and we had one, so. And then Harley ran out of peanut butter, so we just picked up some peanut butter and Tyron got another salad. Babe, do you know these salads have no chicken in it? They have no chicken? No chicken. Salad. Yeah, you got. Without chicken. Yeah, that's fine. Croutons are fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. He wanted chicken, but everything we got from the <laughs> grocery store, all of that was like $140. So I actually thought we did we did pretty well because I only got one meat in that because I still have some meat. And one of the meals that we're doing is meatless. So it wasn't too bad. And then from BJ's, which is like a wholesale club store, I just got like Cottonell wipes for our bathroom. We needed paper towel. And then we also needed um, softener for laundry. So it wasn't anything crazy. So really proud of us because we spent under the goal, which was $200 for groceries today. And yeah, so this is a part of my Sunday reset. I love like stocking up on groceries for the week, especially like after the past few weeks that we haven't really felt like we've been eating right. Again, a lot was going on between us and our lives and it's just a lot going on. So cooking and worrying about eating healthy like wasn't the first priority at that moment. But Sunday reset, that's why we're gonna get a game plan on. Harley, buddy, what's going on? So yeah, so I'm gonna pack all this stuff away and then I'm gonna go back to my to-do list and we're gonna check off grocery shopping once I pack it all away. to Target now so let's open my to-do list to cross some stuff out off cross some stuff off so I went grocery shopping um, I'm washing the sheets um, and that's the two things we've gotten done so yeah so we have a few more things on the list it is hot outside and like throughout the day, like if I have something to add, like for example, clean, like for example, go get my ring cleaned, I'm gonna add that to my to-do list because in reality, that's something I need to do 
and taking it off does make me feel better about my Sunday reset days. So we're gonna add that to the list. I'm gonna drive to the mall. We're gonna get the stuff for the budget planner board. Um, get my ring cleaned. At the same time, spend an hour out while Tyron um, has his client. So that's what we're gonna do. And I need to stop at Lush to get like um, Scrubby. If you don't know what Scrubby is from Lush, you're missing out because it's like this hydrating exfoliation bar. And what I mean, you can like exfoliate and hydrate yourself so well. I will come out the shower. I won't need any lotion because it's so good. I'll show it to you guys when um, I get back in the car from the mall but it's amazing, absolutely amazing. So we're gonna continue to do that and head to the mall. It is hot, the sun has come out and I'm gonna start sweating a little bit. Okay, so I just finished my little mall run. I just went to a different part of the parking lot to show you guys what I got. Um, first and foremost is this whiteboard for Tyron and I. So we can do our like budget tracker thing on here um basically like a bar that goes up and down i'll show it to you guys later but i just got like this nice size whiteboard um expo markers for the whiteboard and i got scrubby so this is from lush which is if you don't have a lush in your area it's like a what do they do it's body care skin care like all natural stuff and this is like a exfoliating hydrating bar and when I'm, I'm telling you guys, like, if you buy Scrubby or any versions of Scrubbies, like, they have more than one, but this one's my favorite. I don't know. I just feel like it just really hydrates you. Like, you will walk out the shower hydrated. So, it's, first of all, it smells absolutely amazing. Woo! It smells so good. So, this is the bar. And then inside, you can see these little lines. Like, once you keep using it, there's, like, these, like, beads in there. They're very, like... They're not extremely coarse, they're not really, really soft, but they're really nice, like they're just like little beads in there. So this is the hydrating part, like the shell and inside of it. It's still hydrating, but if you, once you keep using it on your body, it will get smaller and smaller, and then there'll be more beads. So like the first time I use it, it's really mostly for the hydration, cause like you don't get to the beads as quickly. But by the second use, you have like mostly all beads, and then of course still very extremely, extremely hydrating. So I picked up two of those because honestly, if I use it like twice a week or so, I'll try to use it like twice a week, I'll finish the bar in like a month. So, or like three weeks. It depends on how scrubby I'm feeling. Get it? Because it's called scrubby. Okay. Those are the things that I picked up and then I stopped and got my ring clean. Now it is so shiny, like okay. Who is she? This is my first time getting my ring clean, which is also crazy because Tyron and I have been engaged for six months. March, April, May, June, July. Okay, we're about to be five months. Five months? So we're about to be six months. So we're going on six months. It's crazy because I got my ring clean. That's another thing. And then I went to Target. So now I just have to finish cleaning up the apartment, um, plan my day for tomorrow, and finish our budget sheet and budget board. So I'm doing pretty good. We're almost done with washing the sheets. Um, obviously then I have to spread the bed and everything like that. So, but I usually like to spread it at night when we get right into it because then it's all, it smells so good. So yeah, we have like five to four more things left to do. And then I wanna like, I'm supposed to get, um, an Amazon package later with some stuff that I'll show you guys that's gonna like this is a part of my Sunday reset to set me up for the week like I got a gallon water bottle and I got um, external hard drive because the reason why I didn't stay as consistent with YouTube was because I realized that it takes a lot of storage on your laptop to upload YouTube videos especially if they're going over 30 minutes it's a lot of storage to export them and all that stuff so I had to get a uh, external hard drive in order to do anything YouTube related because it just would not work. So that package is coming today and I'm really excited about that because now I can like upload and start editing this video um, and I could plan my day for tomorrow and that can consist of like editing YouTube videos because I couldn't edit, I couldn't record, nothing, it wasn't working. So yeah so i will show you guys the two things in my sunday reset that are really important to me to have and make sure i'm starting my week off good because your girl needs to start this week off good we need to have a good week um a few more weeks for vacation i'm going on a vacation with my fiance and some of my friends so i'm really really excited 
about that so the next three weeks really need to be really really good weeks like more positivity more productiveness and because school is about to start and if you don't know I'm in grad school so I really need to just get into a consistent habit of like these Sunday resets and like consistency with my YouTube channel because I really enjoy doing things like this so I just was like okay like it all starts from productivity and like not lacking like motivation like I, I could not always feel motivated but it's like okay like discipline right so disciplining myself and so forth and so forth someone just like parked next to me like don't you see me talking it's awkward so yeah I'm gonna head home because by the time I head home and drive there it's like 10 minutes away from the mall and then maybe time will text me and be like oh da -da -da -da, I'm done um so just sat here and did our budget tracker together Tyron's over there He's playing video games, guys. <laughs> so we did our budget sheet that we're gonna be starting on September 1st with our new budget and savings goal and like get out of debt goal. Why does he love the camera? I don't know why he likes the camera so much. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> yes, I know. You look me so bad. It's so slobbery. I love you. Even though you just peed in your cage. Why are you licking my underarms? Oh my god, he's so so yeah, so now I'm gonna um, do our little board. So yeah, I was, I'm not gonna lie guys, I was a little stressed like writing out all our expenses and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, things like that just makes makes me really stressed. Um, but at the same time, you know, Tyron's like, we got this, and like, you know. <laughs> and I'm not a numbers guy, so why I let her kind of write everything down. Yeah, he's not a numbers guy, and I'm type A. Really He'll get frustrated doing this. I'll just get anxiety. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I'm actually not gonna do this. It would have been perfect if I had washed it. And so I'm going to get the whiteboard that I had bought. Um, Tyron, um, he like massages people at the apartment. Like if he does, if they don't want to come, like if they don't want him to go to them, like to their environment, they could come here um, until you know, like things really, really pick up with that. And maybe he could eventually, in a few years, get his own place. But, um, so yeah, people are gonna see this like savings goal and like debt, um, snowball debt, like let's get out of debt section. But it's normal, like a lot of people are in debt and if you don't wanna see it, then don't look at it. Or also maybe it'll inspire people that come over to be like, wow, like that's something I should do, like it maybe be easier. But we just finished doing our budget sheet and we did our little whiteboard situation. Can you guys see this? Okay. We are not like artistic drawers, so. This is the best me and Tyrant did together. I think we did a really damn good job. So I'm about to do, just finish the budget part so I can check that off my to-do list. Great. So now we're gonna make, this isn't on my to-do list, but we can add it, but a part of like, well meal prepping is kind of on my to-do list. So we're gonna do these oat balls. I just gotta pull up the recipe from Pinterest. We're good, let me get a mixing bowl. We make these little oat balls really fast. It's a half cup of peanuts, three fourths cup of almond butter. This is my um, batter, and I just took a thing from Pinterest. So this is my batter. Personally, you're supposed to let the batter sit for a few hours. No, what Shoshana taught, my sister taught me to do is you wet your hands every time you're making the balls a few times, and uh, they'll stick. Same way. Yeah. What are you gonna pull? You take a chunk and you just like scrunch it, scrunch it. I think it smells pretty interesting. What else did you put in there? All right, the oat balls and they're just chocolate chips and peanuts and everything I had showed previously and this is how they came out. So now I'm gonna put them in the fridge and they're gonna get really hard and they um, stick together. We do the almond butter and all the honey. I did not follow the measurements, so I really just was dumping stuff and hoping for the best. 
I didn't follow the measurements. I did not, I'm not gonna lie. But that's how I work. <laughs> so I just, if it doesn't taste good, then we'll know for next time, you know? It is later in the night. It's like 8.57, so it's 9 o'clock right now. Um, Tyron and I just finished um, having our like at-home date night, which is honestly something that I want to like start, wanna start implementing on my Sunday resets is spending like quality time with him. So we had margaritas and we bought like our own margarita mix and margaritas. Look at my my sugar. Like it was a whole margarita, you know? And then we ordered empanadas from a local friend and she's local to the Connecticut area where you can, she like makes her own empanadas but they're like crazy flavors. They were so good. I'll leave her at name in the description. It's so, so good. Um, and yeah, so that's what we just did. I just got my Amazon package that I was telling you guys about so I'm about to unpack that. And then for the rest of the night, so I clean the bedroom. I just have to put the sheets on. Um, I'm going to make my to-do list before I go to bed. Take a quick shower. But I'm going to open this package. And then I'm also going to do like a nice little face mask. And stain my face. Love it. I have the external hard drive for my laptop. So this is great. Now I can actually edit video. I got us some face masks. And especially for Tyron because he... um has to wear them to work um just because he works in like a kind of like a health facility I'm supposed to drink in a day that looks fake <laughs> it's a gallon you're supposed to drink a gallon you're supposed of water. to drink a gallon that's a gallon yes it's a gallon got my water bottle so this is my water bottle i don't know oh i get it it's like i get it so that's pretty much my Sunday reset like this is something I'm trying so by no means is this routine gonna stay the same this is just something I want to start trying Harley so, uh. that's him running himself out yeah so this is a new routine that I really want to start implementing. I really like enjoy having this day planned out so I could get a lot of stuff done. Again, like next time I do a Sunday reset, most likely my cleaning, like deep cleaning days will be put to Saturdays. Um, at least if I can, like just some Saturdays, you just never know. But that's what I want to do so that like Sundays I can focus more on like all of that and I won't feel as tired. Like I'm pretty tired, I'm ready to go to bed. So we're going to do that. And so I can implement a little bit more of like self care, like I could read and do all that stuff. But today was mostly running errands and spending some quality time with Tyron, which was much needed. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys stay tuned because I will be uploading more frequently now. Um, you guys subscribe and share this video. And if you have any comments or tips about like what you guys do, um, if you have like a Sunday routine, a Sunday reset, like whatever you do on Sundays, like comment them below so like we could all like bounce ideas off of each other and maybe like i'm gonna learn something i'm like wow that's a great idea i'm gonna put that in my sunday my sunday reset routine so it was nice talking and chatting with you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye